And we're back! Okay! I wasn't planning on doing two reactions today, but then I saw that Volcanion and the Mechanical Marvel trailer was up. Isn't that right? Now, what was the, what was the Japanese title? Ingenious Magiarna? Okay. I'm really interested in the setting of this one. Um, I think it looks really cool. Um, I mean, it's steampunk in the modern era. You know, you know what's funny is that steampunk is always set, like, in the Victorian slash early Edwardian age. But steam power goes back to the first century. I, I, I think it was, like, 44 AD or something like that that it was harnessed. And, um... I, you know, that means you could have steam power, steampunk, throughout all of that. I mean, it might not be steam punk, but it would be steam alternate history, you know? Give me Roman legions with steam-powered tanks and all that good stuff. You know? Show me how world conquest would be different with all of that. Okay. Let's check this out. The animation is really cool. Please protect this kingdom. Become its guardian. Wow! <laughs> this is the mechanical kingdom that has over five years of history. Suddenly, an unknown Pokemon appears. Volcanian, <laughs> who does announcer. not trust mankind. Well, yeah. And becomes bound to ash by a mysterious force. <laughs> <laughs> On. I'm gonna have to go back a little bit because I could not hear any of it. Peter, what's wrong with you? People always betray us. That's why I don't trust them. So he's N. And then from the shadows, the soul heart, it shall be mine. Now go! Hidden inside the mechanism. Sharp. The soul heart. What is its secret? Well, it's a MacGuffin. That's a secret. <laughs> Glowing eyes, of course. A never-before-seen mythical Pokemon will soon be revealed. Hey, check it out! On that day, Kalos received a grim reminder. You've seen mechanical Pokemon before. Volcanian and the mechanical Marvel. <laughs> you know what I think? I'm gonna bring myself up here. What I think is, well, there's something about the bad guys in airships. It, <laughs> <laughs> They're always science-based. Well, I know Gerardon was art-based, but it specifically said that he has frightening scientific knowledge in his uh, character profile, which I don't think was ever released outside of a production sheet. Uh, I know there's some book out there that has more information on the movie, and I want to get my hands on it. It has a height chart. <sighs> Then there was Zero, who was not interesting, and came across as some sort of... I, I said at the time he was like a proto-Cyrus, although without any of the interest. Um, but he's really Lysandra. <laughs> he wants to basically destroy stuff because he fight Like, he literally says, In your filthy world. And it's like, yeah, so... Basically the same as their filth. <laughs> Jarvis. I wonder if they're gonna rename him for this because Jarvis is just—it's Iron Man's AI. <laughs> That's, yeah, I know it's a name. Okay, I know it's like an old doddering butler type name, but uh, <laughs> there's so, like you do it now, and it's just Iron Man. You know, that's the only thing that comes to mind. 
But uh, I'm liking those walls. You know, yes, every single Attack on Titan reference possible. Um, <laughs> you get the uh, Alola form executor peeking over the top. Oh yeah, spoilers. <laughs> but then again, I mean, Magiarna itself. If you notice, they never actually... Well, they said its name at the beginning, but they never actually said what it was or anything. Yeah, hi. And there's the whole thing about, well, its colors are faded. Athena, no biting! And it, it, it used to look like a Pokeball. It used to be, you know, red and white like that. I hope you guys realize I am doing this with bird crap all the way down my back because Athena could not hold it together. Athena. Uh, so, so, yeah, if you want a bird, you really have to do your research. I'm not going to discourage anyone from actually getting a bird because they are wonderful and they are fulfilling and they are so darling. But they are annoying and they will mess up your house. <laughs> anyway, I'll get the preview. Um, Ash has seen mechanical Pokemon before. I mean, the whole uh, Clink line, the. I mean, if you want to consider it uh, the Magnemite line. Um, in a way, uh, the Golurk line is also mechanical. I mean, it's it's based on a uh, golem, more so than the Pokemon Golem is. I'm just moving my face all around. Uh, I really need a better webcam. Uh, I want to see Gerard done in steampunk style. It would be amazing. You realize all the airships in the anime um, have crashed in pursuit of legendary Pokemon. That not only includes the Hikoku and the Mega Rig, and this one probably will, but it also includes uh, things like the Battle Pyramid. If the Battle Pyramid is a freaking airship in the anime, it flies! Sort of. I mean, it, it hovers, but it still gets off the ground and travels places. So I consider it an airship. I also have this head cannon that whoever built the Hikoku also built the Battle Pyramid. Um, the Mega Rig, I think, was just built by Zero. Um, he probably hired his own crew and was all like, Do this! Do that! Do this! Do that! And put in feet everywhere. Enfi was terminally underused. Um, she was on the poster doing this whole I know kung fu pose, and she was just an AI. And I know that she did seem to have some sort of emotion. Uh, she seemed to care for Zero. Uh, but they didn't do anything with that. There was like a whole army of them. <laughs> <sighs> Shaman was the best part of that movie. Shaman is the only reason to see that movie. <laughs> I just can somebody please draw Gerardon in the Google file? Have him show up in this town? Actually, uh, maybe mm -hmm. I know the movie's already out in Japan and all of that, but it would be really nice to see him. Just you know, even in a background shot. You know, the whole World of Pokemon segment? The one that several years ago showed us Team Rocket capturing Rayquaza and has never touched on that again. You know, they, they did show that it was the Rockets from Legend of Thunder, so I wonder, I wonder if they could give us an update on Domino. That would be neat. Or especially the Iron Mask Marauder, because... Now, he was J before there was J. He was the first complete monster we had in the entire series. I mean, Giovanni comes really close, but he at least has a soft spot for Persian. It, it, I wouldn't go so far as to say it's a morality pet for him, but it's definitely his soft spot. <laughs> and interestingly enough, I think if someone actually overpowered and threatened Persian's life, like, not just in a Pokemon battle, but if someone were to threaten its life and actually had it on the ropes and everything, 
I think that might actually be a one, like the one thing that would force Giovanni into surrender. No, I kind of want to see that play out. I mean, it literally never occurred to me until right now. Anyway, okay, I've done enough yammering about everything under the sun except the actual movie. So I'm going to stop. See ya!